Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting new update from Oracle, VirtualBox 7.1. If you're into running virtual machines for Linux, Windows, or other operating systems, you're going to want to hear about this. VirtualBox just got a fresh new look, and there are some big improvements under the hood too. So let's jump right in. First up, let's talk about the new look and feel of VirtualBox 7.1. Oracle has given the app a much-needed makeover. It now uses the Qt 6 framework, which makes the whole interface feel smoother and more modern. The virtual machines list is now much clearer, which makes navigating a lot easier. And the settings page? That's been revamped too. It now scrolls vertically, with handy tabs on the left side for quick navigation. Oh, and they've updated the logo. You'll notice that classic 3D box is gone. Though, personally, I'm not a big fan of the new design. What do you guys think? Drop a comment below. Another cool addition is the toggle between basic and expert modes in the main preferences. The basic mode hides some of the less essential settings, making it less overwhelming for new users. If you're more experienced, you can switch to expert mode to access all the nitty-gritty details. Oracle also threw in some accessibility improvements throughout the interface, which is always a good move. Now, let's talk features. VirtualBox 7.1 brings IPv6 support to NAT networking, which is great if you're working with newer network configurations. If you've been using Linux hosts on Wayland, clipboard sharing is finally fixed, a bug that's been around for ages. And here's a real game changer. You can now share files between a Linux guest and a Windows host, or vice versa. Plus, screen recordings are now less CPU intensive, which is a huge win for performance. Just remember, to take advantage of these new features, you'll need to install VirtualBox 7.1 Guest Editions inside your guest virtual machines. Simply updating the app won't be enough for your existing VMs. Of course, VirtualBox is still one of the best free virtualization apps out there, but it's not your only option. If you're just looking to run some Linux software on Windows, Windows Subsystem for Linux, WSL, might be a simpler choice. And for Mac users, VMware Fusion is now free for non-commercial use, or you can go with UTM to run both Windows and Linux guests. If you're ready to try out VirtualBox 7.1, you can download it from the official website. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and even Solaris. Just a heads up though, the version for Apple Silicon Macs is still in beta and can only run ARM-based guest operating systems for now. If you're using ARM-based Windows laptops, you'll have to wait a little longer as there's no version available for them yet. So, that's the scoop on VirtualBox 7.1. It's looking sharper, running smoother, and packed with some pretty useful new features. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more tech updates. And hey, let me know in the comments, are you upgrading to VirtualBox 7.1 or are you sticking with something else? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.